I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org and today we're going to talk about mixtures and compounds. A compound is when two substances are joined together through a chemical bond. So they become kind of like they're one thing, okay? Whereas a mixture is when you combine two substances and they are kind of mixed together, but they do not have a chemical bond. So they have a physical intermingling. So this is like, for example, if you put sand and salt together and stir it up, then that is called a mixture. Okay, so we are going to be doing an experiment with mixtures and compounds with many different substances. We are using these experiments from Christian Kids Explore Chemistry by Bright Ideas Press, and we are having a lot of fun this year as we are learning about chemistry for elementary age kids. So take a look at our experiment for mixtures and compounds. We are examining mixtures and compounds. So take out six bowls and you will want some labels. Uh, you can use three by five index cards and fold them in half to label the mixtures in the bowls. A mixture is made of two or more substances that are not chemically bonded, and a compound has a chemical bond with two or more substances. So, squirt some uh, mustard into that first bowl, and as we are looking at the mustard, is that, what is it, solid, liquid, or gas? I would say liquid. It is a liquid. It looks liquidy. And if you look at the ingredients, it probably has some solid also in it. Okay. And do you think this is a mixture or a compound? I think it's a compound. Okay. It's a compound if it becomes different when it is mixed together. So, um, and actually, it is a mixture. Um, mustard itself is a mixture of different ingredients stirred together. So that's why we labeled it a mustard mixture. So on your chart, you will want to have that it is a mixture that is already on the paper. But what is the mixture type? Okay, and that is, I would say, liquid solid. Yeah. Okay, let's put liquid solid. The next mixture is a sand and salt mixture. So put one teaspoon of sand, one teaspoon of salt. As you can see, it does not combine chemically together, and so it is a mixture. And is this liquid liquid? Uh, or solid, liquid, gas, how is it combined? It'll be, it'll be a solid, solid. It is a solid, solid. So going to our third one is a sugar compound. So you just put sugar in the bowl. Now, sugar is actually a compound in and of itself, okay? So it's, a, it's chemically combined uh, two or more different substances into sugar. So the sugar itself is a compound. It's not a mixture because it's become something different than what it was originally. The same with the salt compound. So the next one is a salt compound. All you do is put some salt into a bowl, N-A-C-L, so it's sodium and chlorine. Sodium is one element, chlorine is another element. If you combine them together, they become a different substance, which is why it is a compound, okay? In the next one, we have water. Water is what? H2O. H2O, two hydrogen atoms combined with an oxygen atom makes a water molecule. And so we have two elements combined into one, that thing that is completely different. This is not hydrogen or oxygen. Water is a totally different thing, so it has been combined. And we have, uh, it is liquid now, it has become liquid. Okay, the last one is an oil and water mixture. So go ahead and put in two teaspoons of oil about two teaspoons of oil. Okay. Now go ahead and pour in some the same amount of water. Okay. Now, does it does it combine? Yes. 
No, it does not. It does not combine. They stay separate. They do not okay. Combine at you can all. easily so, see it stays separate. Yes. One so one part is white and one part is one part is white and one part is a an off white or yellow. So this is a mixture. Okay. And what is this? It is. Uh, liquid liquid isn't it yes, okay it is and the density of one of them is lighter than the density of the other which means they cannot combine together at all so that is not a compound it is a mixture so here we have this experiment to find out about mixtures and compounds we are going to add some food coloring go ahead put like maybe two drops we're adding two drops of food coloring and we are going to stir it with a spoon. Wow, it doesn't even do anything. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> that was a surprise. I was trying to tint the water so that the, um, but it's basically fat globules. Starting to burst. They are starting to burst. So the food coloring is bursting like fireworks we were just trying to tint the water so that we could see the oil and the water but it, it is taking longer than we thought and it's exciting like a fireworks display you just I know there's another one Stir it. Start there it whoop we got that one. Oh wow stir it some more. yeah okay now oh. stir it Fabulous. Okay, that's much better. Now stop stirring. Okay, so now you can see the oil is floating on top of the water. You see that ring around it? And if, and if it was a glass bowl, you would see that the top layer is the oil that is lighter than water, and then the bottom is the water that is tinted blue. So this is a water-oil mixture and it is not a compound because it has not become one. The water and oil do not become one when they're combined. They, are, they stay separated. I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org. Thanks for watching our Examining Mixtures and Compounds experiment.